Hello and welcome to another episode of Monday BJJ with me, your host, Brian. So in this episode, uh, these are going to be some post or well, pre-COVID-19 roles. So uh, I was doing pretty well here, um, starting off with a, you know, kind of a poor takedown into a back take um, and roll into full mount because I'm not very good at taking back and maintaining it. Um, I think if you look, you'll see that I have like one of my hooks in like way too deep and the other hook not in deep enough. And so when my opponents roll, uh, I tend to tend to lose the back. And then there, um, you know, I have full guard and he's able to, you know, pass the guard. Um, my, my guard game is just not that strong. Like a lot of times I'll wind up in this spot where I'm kind of in half guard. Like I've got one leg kind of trapped and, uh, you'll see here he's walking his fingers up and he does that a lot and I just know that when he starts doing that he's going for a choke so I start scrambling and trying to move underneath um it was after this that I I did a little bit of soul searching and realized that my guard game needed a lot of work and um really started putting in some effort to make it better uh which was unfortunate because that was right about the time that the COVID happened and then didn't roll for basically a couple months um So in the next video, you'll get to see how much I haven't really improved since then. Um, But here he goes for a arm bar, and I'm just barely able to get my shoulder to the mat before he uh, locks it up. And so I'm able to escape the arm bar. But then as soon as we're done and we're scrambling for position, I'm already just kind of tired. And um, he's able to get on top. And you can see me glance back at the camera, um, just praying that someone will save me. And uh, unfortunately, there's no help coming, so I'm just going to continue to get dominated. And you'll see, I I continue to try to roll to my stomach, and um, that's maybe not the best choice. Like, a lot of times, you'd probably rather roll into the guy, and then, like, here, I should be shrimping my hips away from him so I can get my knees back in and regard. And instead, I keep trying to turn away from him, and that's kind of like, you know, obviously not the best thing. And then here, I'm trying to roll him again but I'm not trapping his leg. And so that means that when I roll, like I'm just rolling to my stomach and he's staying on my, on my, on top. So I'm just giving him my back. Um, but I, yeah, this, this whole night, it just seems like I was kind of exhausted the whole time and I wasn't fighting probably as well as I should have been. Um, I'm not sure why I think maybe, um, just lack of hydration and training. Um, it's always a struggle for me. Like if I'm training enough or not enough, um, thinking I'm doing better than I am. So anyways, we finished the round and then this next round, um, is with this guy and I I like him real well. He's pretty smooth. Like, I mean, that take right there was, was really smooth. Like he just pulls me into guard and immediately hits the sweep because I'm off balance and, uh, winds up in a good mount and I'm trying to roll him and he's floating on top of me, you know, attacking my arms making real good use of his position. Um, and then he <laughs> moves to the neon belly here and he looks at the camera and kind of smiles cause he knows, uh, it's going to be hurting me. So now here he's looking for the arm bar. Oh, never mind. No, he's just taken back and going for chokes. And, uh, this may, this might've been also part of the reason why I was so tired because I spent the first two rounds, um, pretty much getting manhandled. And then the third round is going to be pretty hard. And so, by the time I get further in and I'm actually going against, um, well, really in round three, I'm going against people with better belts and uh, it's just, it's problems for me. So I think he finishes me with a choke like right here. And then, uh, we reset and, um, I try to pull him into guard and do the same thing he kind of did to me, but I don't get my feet in position well enough and I'm tired. And so I just kind of wind up pulling him on top of me. So here he goes for the knee on belly again, and I'm shoving that knee out of the way and trying to get get around somewhere without giving him an arm bar. Um, this time I'm doing a lot better job turning into him and uh, being okay on my back, um, but it doesn't help very much because he's a, l- a little bit more um, technical and he's doing a good job of floating on top of me and letting me turn and give up you know, an arm or something. And, uh, yeah, he winds up taking my back and here we are again. Um, he's working on trying to stuff my arm here and get a good choke on. And I'm being really annoying and 
putting my chin in it and doing all sorts of ridiculous stuff to try to stop the choke and rather than maybe just giving up the tap and um, starting over. So here I get a leg and I'm trying to hold on to his leg for dear life and I eventually kind of get out of the back but then I'm not doing a good enough job turning into him again. So here I'm trying to hold on to this arm for dear life and he winds up pulling out and I'm trying to do like a wrestling sit out but it's not really working and yeah. So here we are again, neon belly. I got to shove that arm off and then he's going back to it just again and again, really uh, punishing me. Now he's got a good arm bar set up and uh, I tap. And then so now here again, I'm up against the blue belt now and uh, like and subscribe for this sweet foreground action. And uh, he was being real nice to me. Um, normally he's really, really mobile and um, just a very active player. He does a lot of inversion game and spinning around and stuff. And uh, he was just kind of taking it easy on me tonight. I think he realized that like how tired I was. And so he was just playing a little more like cautious and reserved than he does sometimes. But you see here how just how weak I am to uh, butterfly hooks. Like my, uh, I guess my thinking and my stance just doesn't, leaves me open to a lot of um, getting inside my legs and, you know, li uplifting. So he flips me over there and then he, you know, I'm trying to turn into him and maybe reestablish some guard, but I'm not doing a very good job. Um, see, here's the butterfly hook again. And so like, I'm, I kind of recognize it there and I'm working a little bit off of it, but I'm not doing a good enough job keeping my legs off of his and, um, trying for something, um, you know, switching around positions. And here you'll see, like, I, I put my legs way out there because, again, I have, like, a little bit of a wrestling background. This is a pretty sweet um, regard he does here where he inverts and then gets his legs around me. But, yeah, you'll, you'll see this a couple of times, I think, because of my wrestling background. Um, I'll put my knees way far away and – try to apply pressure down that way and it it leaves room for the other person to get their legs back in um and yeah I just I, I don't think it's the way that you're probably supposed to play because it seems like most of the times when I've seen coaching if I'm really paying attention they you know don't they want you your knees to be up close to the other person's hips and shoulders so that way they can't get in between you and start making frames and doing stuff so here I'm practicing an Ezekiel choke, and I don't maintain the top position as well as I should. And then here I should probably be closing my guard and pulling him into me so I can finish the choke better, but I leave that space for him to push his head out, and then he winds up breaking my grip and then driving in. And so then here I'm just holding onto his head for some reason, and I probably should be establishing frames and whatnot, and he's just kind of breaking me down. So I'm experiencing some problems here. Um, and then, yeah, here's some more legs coming in between. Um, yeah, and there he goes. He starts to just set up an arm bar, and, of course, it freaks me out, so I immediately snap my shoulders back to the mat. Um, and, yep, every time I go to one side, he switches to the other. So I'm pretty exhausted. And now we're going against another another guy. And again, immediately off the bat, like he's going inside my legs and um, I'm trying to do like an X pass type thing, but I'm not controlling his legs well enough. And uh, if you stay hooked to somebody's legs long enough, eventually they can do this lasso guard or spider guard on you. Um, <laughs> and there I get rolled again, that inside the leg uh, thing that happens. So... I think there I just tapped to uh, the neon belly pressure. I was just like, it was so much and I couldn't breathe. And so here, um, yeah, he goes around one way and I, I fin that off. And so then he just switches and goes around the other direction. And I'm tired enough that I don't move to fight it off like I should. And so here he's um, working on that kind of paper cutter type choke. And when he flexes out, it, it makes enough pressure that I've got to tap. So, um, 
Same sort of setup here. I'm trying to keep my knee up to prevent his leg from coming inside, but that doesn't stop his other leg from coming inside. So I'm trying to staple it and make a pass here. I almost get there, but I, well, yeah, maybe I do. I couldn't remember if I got the leg in or not. Um, I don't think it matters ultimately, but um, I think I've got his head picked up and I'm just trying to get over, but he's got my arm. It looks like I get over the top, but you see I overbalance, and then he's able to roll me. Um, so then that winds up not being very profitable for me. So, and here you can see I'm just kind of flat on my back and moving a little bit, but I'm just ultimately a little too tired to really fight everything like I should. I mean, I say that a lot. I, you know, maybe I should be doing more, but, you know, you're a white belt. It's kind of your job to get beat up until you figure things out. So, um, and here he's working some kind of choke or something. So, or maybe we just got off the edge of the mat. I don't remember. So we reset and here he's, um, putting his feet against me and I do the pass a lot better that time, really getting his leg out of the way. So, um, he didn't fight me too terribly hard on it. Um, uh, and then I think I get knee, I think I get a knee on here. Nope overbalance again you'll see he comes up inside same exact thing I look at the camera for mercy um, and then here he's got head and arm I think and he's choking me really good here so I tap and then we reset again oh and then now here I get to go against this guy and he's a brown belt um, and he's a lot of fun to roll with he's just very smooth and uh, I, I don't play guard a whole lot because when you're newer to jujitsu, it's hard to, um, like everybody else just kind of sits back and waits for you to come at him. So I started just kind of trying to pull guard a little more and, uh, practice the guard. And so you'll see some of that. Um, and so here he's just like, he just keeps going for arms and doing different locks and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he got a Kimura or something there. And, uh, so here I am trying to pass now and you'll see, there it is that butterfly hook again, that lets him flip me over. And then now he's able to work sort of the top position. And I've got like, I guess he choked me there as well. Some sort of, some sort of fun choke. And then that's that same, you know, underhook the other guy flipped me with. And, uh, you can see there, you know, he's doing that good job of keeping my um, legs out of the way as opposed to what I was doing. And so then he starts working something with his own lapel. He was trying to feed it under me and or around my throat or something and choke me with it. And I fought that off. So, and I think maybe he's still working it here. You can't really see because of the camera angle, but um, eventually I leave an arm up and then he's able to lock it up. And I I get the shoulder down, so I'm not at least in the in the arm bar, but I'm also not, you know, closing or threatening anything on him. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, here I'm trying to do some butterfly hook fun stuff, but he passes my guard and there you can see him pulling out his lapel again. He's trying to do some more fun stuff with me. And, uh, yeah, he's got my arm again and I, I keep, getting a little, a little scared. Which is understandable. He's kind of a monster, but, uh, you just see how, how like little I'm moving when I'm on the bottom. I'm just really wearing out. Um, and so it's been quite a, quite a series of roles. And this is even like when I was in probably as good a shape as I've been doing rolling. Um, and I don't know if that just speaks to how good, good my opponents were and how good a shape they were in. And there I had a head and arm, but I overbalanced. And so he rolls me and, uh, yeah, he just applies some, uh, more pressure and starts to pass. And, uh, it was a good night overall. So, um, I like this move, pulling the leg underneath and starting to set up a triangle there. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see some more jujitsu. 
See you tomorrow.